full of surprises, this job. It's one of them jobs that just keeps on giving. I'll just show you some of the little issues I've uh, come across so far. So on taking this first paper off, as you can see on the ceiling, let's just have a look down there. What I've actually got is another paper which uh, in fact looks like lining paper just there but this other stuff it's actually just another paper what you can see there um, it's it's loose basically because if you look at that there you know it's not taking much to bring it off um, and basically if you look at the back you can see plaster and then you can see the uh, old emulsions, the distemper. Um, and it's all just making it come off. Well, so all that needs scraping off best I can, cleaning back. And over here near the window, um, I've took off the curtain board and all the plasters coming off, as you can see, so, all that needs fixing, you can't, you can't leave it on, it's just not, so, and there's the odd little crack here and there, um, they look worse than they are because the plaster is really solid, I mean it's unbelievably solid, so a little bit of foam in some of these little holes, let that go off, cut them back, PVA, polyfiller, lining paper, should all be sorted. So I'll show you this room now, once I've finished stripping it all completely back. It's all stripped. And I'm going to give it a coat of PVA. then some foam in the cracks and then some filler so I'll show you that once it's done I've got some plasterboard to go in the top there So that's all the foam done now, I've just got to cut it back and then put some filler on. The foam's cut back now and I've put some plasterboard along the top and I've foamed that in. So I'm about to start filling. That's what I'm using. A lot of the filling is done on the ceiling, mainly. So that's ready for a sand down, another coat of PVA diluted and then I'm going to line it and then get it papered and then finish the rest of the room on the filling down the bottom half so then I can line that the next day tomorrow. So I'll show you once the uh, ceiling's been lined I'm in the process of sanding the ceiling um, let me just show you this corner again all the process it's gone through the foam PVA and then the filling nice and solid so ready for another coat of PVA and then ready for the lining paper and like I say 
I'm still finishing off the walls with the filling. I've done all the ceiling, so I can get the ceiling papered. And then I can do all the rest of the filling for the afternoon. And then that's dry for the next day. That's a bit of undercoat plaster that. And then I'm going to bring some across here as well to even it all out because it's it's nice and flush there but then it steps out and then you know there was a big dip there so build it all out and be sorted once it's finished I'm ready to line the ceiling and this is what I'm using a thousand lining paper now, when you're lining the ceiling, and well, if you're going to paper the ceiling afterwards, the paper usually goes on from where the natural light starts, where the window is. So your first length of paper, finished paper, will go on there. So when you're lining it, you line it the opposite way. That's the first piece of lining paper up. Have a quick look. It's doing well, that has. The job's coming together now. I've lined the ceiling now, so I'll give you a quick look. That's ready for the paper now. I'll show you a bit of that going up. So again, like I say, you start from where the window is with your first piece and work away from the uh, natural light. While that lining paper is drying now, I'm going to finish the rest of the filling. It's not much to do, but if I hadn't I've got the ceiling prepared first, you're holding yourself up because that's drying now. This is the ceiling paper. And it's a free match. Brew time. So that's all the filling finished now. Just give you a quick look around. You, at this top bit really. So I can carry on and finish the lining now. Ceiling's looking good. That's all the lining paper finished now. Just give you a quick look now. It's not been an easy one at all. Lumps and everything. You only can do your best with some of these houses. And that's the, the corner I'm showing you throughout the video. Across the top of the window there. So the next stage now is to emulsion the ceiling and then satin wood, pure brilliant white, oil based on the woodwork, the radiator and the window, the window's going white and then it's ready for the wallpaper. That's all the satin wood finished now, just to give you a quick look round of things, it's come up really well. So now we're on to the papering. Let's quick look at the, the window and the radiator. Got to be careful of the light because of the contrast. Changes things. Okay. Now with the paper, that's what's going on, like I said. Um, 64 centimetres repeat, so it's not too bad. It's going to be nice. That's glitter. Some of the things you'll need, obviously your pasting bench. Um, now, with paper hanging brush, I've washed it out 
that's nice and clean. Scissors, pencils, plumb bob, tape measure, a knife if needed and some new blades, a timer, packet of paste, overlap adhesive and a brush to apply it with, clean bucket of water with a clean cloth and a bucket to mix your paste in. And that's where it sits on top of my box, less to stretch. Right, now I'll show you when the first piece of paper's up and then you can see the finished room. There you go, first two pieces up. Uh, it looks pretty good to be honest. So I'll show you the finished room now.